it's not the military. Uh, people always think that you work your way up, which is ridiculous. You, uh, I mean, I started, my first job within the industry was as a mailboy at 20th Century Fox, 1967. But it's not the military, and you don't work your way up. Um, but I really loved the movies, and I was desperate to work on films, and so I could grew up in Los Angeles, and I just did everything I could. And I actually left school to become a mailboy. So that was my first job within the business. You learn a lot about postage, and you get to meet lots of people and see lots of cool stuff, but not much about filmmaking. <laughs> the first film I actually worked on was called Catch-22. It was shot in uh, San Carlos in Baja, in Mexico. Um, but I wasn't there very long because I was hired by Andrew Martin, who was directing the second unit, Bundy Martin, and he was lovely to me and gave me this job, but I, my job was in the belly of a B-25 going, Bendero es roja, <laughs> Bendero es verde, and you flew in these, ro how we fought a war in those, I don't know. We would fly in these planes like this, and you would, it was horrible, and uh, Mike Nichols, meanwhile, was with the first unit with like Orson Welles and all these amazing actors. And I was in a B-25, you know. Um, so I actually quit and went back to the mailroom at Fox where I got to see more production. Um, but about a year later, Bundy Martin, same gentleman, very kind to me, said, you know, if you can work your way to Yugoslavia, or the former Yugoslavia, um, maybe I could get you on the second unit of a movie at that time called The Warriors, an MGM film which was released as Kelly's Heroes. Clint Eastwood, Don Sutherland, Telly Savalas, a big World War II movie. And uh, I was very naive. I, didn't, I, I took all the money I had in the world. I was 18. And that got me to London because I was a schmuck. I had no idea that London was not that close to Belgrade. <laughs> It's like, isn't Europe this big? No, it's about that big. But I, I got to Belgrade, and, which was behind the Iron Curtain. And I worked on Kelly's Heroes, and then after that, as now they're called production assistants, then they were called gophers. And after that, I went to Spain, where there was a tremendous boom in production. They were making all kinds of movies, and it was also the time of the Spaghetti Western. I got to work with extraordinary directors, everybody from Sergio Leone to Michael Winner, um, I just worked on a lot of movies there, all kinds of movies, French, Italian, German, just lots of movies, and uh, eventually got back to L.A. and made my own movie, low-budget independent, called Schlock, which was. And years later, I worked as a stuntman. I had lots of, a writer. Uh, first time I was in London was in 75. I was a, a, one of the many writers of The Spy Who Loved Me. But... Then I was hired to uh, make a movie called Animal House, my first studio picture. And that was successful. Lots of movies inspired me. The, the movie that made me a, want to be a filmmaker was uh, a Ray Harryhausen film called Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, which I saw when I was eight years old. And I had, you know, suspension of disbelief and... You know, it has to do with how old you are and when you see a movie and where you see a movie. If you ask people what's your favorite movie, they usually can tell you what cinema they saw it in or when they saw it on TV or who they were with. You know, movies have tremendous emotional resonance, but all movies, good and bad, influence me. Well, first of all, young people now have a huge advantage, which is anyone can make a movie. Uh, cheap. I mean, you can take your flip camera and your laptop and Final Cut Pro and you literally can make a perfectly acceptable film now for under $15,000. You really can. Um, if you get people to work for free and, you know. But that's a tremendous advantage that my generation, generations before me, we didn't have. That was either 8mm or 16mm. It was expensive. Um, but that would be my advice. Make movies. Just keep making pictures, and you learn by doing, and, and write scripts. You know, a lot of people put all their, especially film students, put all their heart and soul into that one screenplay. And that's fine, but write something else, because maybe that one screenplay, you won't be able to sell it. So write something else. I mean, have 10 scripts in the drawer instead of, you know, that one. You know, if you want to be a dentist, there are 
or a lawyer, or do they're rules. You, you do this, you do this, you do this, they give you a piece of paper, you're a dentist. Being a filmmaker, you put your hand on a rock, you say, I'm a filmmaker. <laughs> you know, there's, just do it.